Okay. Wow, there's an intro scene to this game. This intro to this? I would not have expected that. Here at the base for Marlin Fishing. Ooh, I have an animated too. Hi, Bobby. How are you? Now you are the challenger. Okay. It's a big fish rooney, that's right. Tomorrow off, that's nice. I like having days off in the middle of the week, it's always kind of nice. Get a break, doesn't feel so long. Hi, I'm Bronin, how are you? Suggestion for a name, I don't think it really matters, so. Yeah, I knew some people who worked for the government who worked um, four tens, and they took Wednesdays off. And they really like that, because then you never had more than two days in a row, and you got a day off to do stuff in the middle of the week. Quite like that. Bait? <laughs> Bait or fish face? Hmm, I don't think fish face will fit, let's see. Aquaman? <laughs> uh, I think Booyah might win, actually. That one's pretty funny. And it fits! Fishing area, Florida. Oh, I don't have any choices. Okay. Where shall we go today? Fishing Point in Palm Beach. Yeah, you might be right there. What is behind me? Is that an anchor? That's that's Aquaman's trident behind him. Chrissy, what is behind me? Like, why is it dragging like that? Back up. Uh, yeah, it's the sun in the lower left. They didn't pay taxes? <laughs> yeah, it could be. What is that guy doing up there? Like, up there. Can I go to the beach? Let's see. Eh. No, you can't go to the beach. Alright. Is he dancing up there? What is, what is, he is dancing. He's moonwalking. There's a shark. Wow, it's bigger than my boat. Holy crap. I genuinely don't know what I'm doing here. So I'm going to try to drag this thing across this giant fish. Let's see if that does something. No, it didn't. Uh... Oh, okay. I don't know what kind of water is good for what I'm doing here. Let's try... Here, I guess? Let's we'll go here. This is fine. Information. No, we don't need that. Okay. Select the line. 110, sure. Select the line length. 200, sure. Select the lure. Feather, sure. Float, sure. So how do I do any? How do I actually fish? It seems important. Hi, Paraboy. Oh, there's, there's a, do I just drag it through this school of fish here? I do! Hey, Aquaman, I feel a bite in your rod. 
Oh, there we go. Uh, eh. no. That sounds bad. Pull back. All these sounds mean they're really annoying. I can pull. Wee! I can swing in my chair. The line's reeling out quickly. He was resting, I bet. Oh. Oh, alright. We'll pull it in. Lion's reeling out quickly. He was resting, I bet. Alright. Can I snap the line? Okay. Shoot! The hook came out! Did I rip off his, his sword? <laughs> that picture... Well, next time, you'll do better. Alright. How oh, my rod. Drive just through a school of Marlin and drag our thing through him. Yay! Hey Aquaman, I feel a bite on your rod! understand fishing, most of it involves swinging around in a chair and loud beeping. That's not how I imagine fishing, but, you know. Oh, the hook came out. Alright. Alright, we'll move on. What are these people doing? Look at them. There. Are they fist fighting? Damn. Whatever. Be careful, the boat can be easily damaged. Okay. Done mind, I guess. Endlessly beat. <laughs> um, snap! Too bad. The line has been cut. Um, that's all right for now, Bobby. I'll, I'll see if I can figure anything out here. For now, at least. Yeah, this is an extremely irritating game. I do have to say.
Yeah, and by the way, um, I actually have fond memories of one fishing game, which was much more realistic and more sim-like than this game, but was still easier to play and understand. Um, and it used, like, borderline ASCII graphics. Well, they weren't actually ASCII, but that's, like, what it looked like. The game's actually pretty fun. Uh, it's called, um, Bass Tour. It's a DOS game that I played growing up. It's actually a pretty fun game. It's much more of a simulation. Yes, that's, that's exactly right. It's more of that, that Bass Tour is more of a simulation than this is, and it, it actually is kind of relaxing. You're just kind of cruising around, and it's hard, actually, still, but you understand what you're doing. <laughs> A little bit like playing Oregon Trail, almost, is what it reminds me of, sorta. Yeah, the fishing in uh, Link's Awakening isn't bad, and the even the fishing in uh, Animal Crossing, it's very simple, but, you know, it's kind of fun for what it is. I think when I play these games, I just like to remember that this game probably cost about $100 inflation adjusted. It's worth remembering that. What? Why is the fish very exhausted? Frank wasn't that exhausted. Yeah, if you ever design a game, this is a pro tip for any game designer who just happens to be listening. If you're playing your game and you have more than about one second of high-pitched beeping, you should just cancel your game. And go back to the drawing board and figure out, you know, why you don't know how to design a game. Maybe go back to school. Just saying. All thinking it. Or you could just not do that. I guess that might be easier. Yeah. am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> Every option, I, there's 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 only one button and left, right, and, and back. I don't have to do anything. All four of them result in me losing. As far as, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I don't get, I'm not getting something, but I'll just say it's not intuitive. Everything results in annoying beeping. Okay, here's another here's another point of contention or point of comparison. Bass Tour has some sounds, but I play it on a computer with PC speaker, you know, built-in speaker built into the desktop tower. And it had better sound than this game. 
is pretty funny to think about. This PC speaker is famously annoying and mostly a series of beeps. Ooh, what's that one? Big fish. Another dolphin. Resting, I bet. Got him! When they stab him with a... Wow, alright. Stabbed him in the face, apparently. Is that how marlin fishing works? I've, I've never caught a marlin. The catch is a barracuda. A 400-pound barracuda. Damn. Sure, we'll keep it. So that's blue marlin. <laughs> Fish achieved, yeah. That's a really- Do Barracuda get that big? Dang. I wanna catch the shark down here, though. Let's not catch the shark. Come on. Oh, the shark. Gimme shark, gimme. Oh. I guess I want a shark, I should be changing my, uh... My line stuff, huh? There. Big heavy line. 100 feet. Bobby, that's a, these are good questions. But I was just guessing that sharks are heavier, so you need a heavier line. But purely a guess. Huh. Maybe 
too shallow to catch them now. Or, I mean, the line's not long enough now to catch them. Yeah, I guess so. Alright. I have to have a longer line like, length than that, I guess. Catch fish. Yeah, I know nothing either. I have been fishing in my life, and in fact, I've caught a fish or two. But it was in a lake, and it was just with a rod. It wasn't, you know, oceanic fish catching 500-pound things. And even then, I don't know, I couldn't tell you that much about it. I caught a small bass, and I caught a perch once. Oh, that's a good plan, Boo. I like it. If I see a dolphin, I will try to kidnap it and then make it do what I want. Nice. The worms are key. Well, we went fishing on lakes in Michigan. Let me tell you, not the greatest experience. <laughs> really hot, really muggy, and really a lot of mosquitoes. Too strong. Oh, I guess it's not it's not tired. Oh, you see, is he uh, he's getting a little thought bubbles. I guess it means he's getting the fish is getting tired. Howdy, howdy, how are you? Eh. I'm trying to catch fish and mostly failing at it. Howdy? Okay. That'd be cool if it was a sunfish. I would love to catch a sunfish. Black bass, the most metal of all fish. Got him! Stabbed! Right in the frickin' face! It's another 400 pound barracuda, okay. Alright, well. Sure. Sea cucumber would be cool, but I'm relatively confident that a sea cucumber could not fight you for, f like, a full minute of playing against a line. <laughs> I mean, sea cucumbers are pretty mighty, but they're not that mighty. The most dangerous game of all. Black bass. It's a fine quote, Boo you. Look at this. Is the sun really derpy looking now, or is it just me? What is wrong with it? Look at its face. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Like a goblin sun. Well, I think that's about enough of this game. <laughs> 
Move on to my next one. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I deleted the element that has that from my OBS setup, and it's still there. And I don't know what to do about it, but what we can do. Yeah, but OBS apparently had a stroke. That's a good explanation, is any? Ghost in the machine, sure. Well, too bad. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, I've learned I can fix it, and that garage just goes off again no matter what I do. That's a good way of looking at an axiom howdy. I'm just here, okay. There's no boat in this one, you're just waiting. Oh, it's like a golf game. Yeah! You lost your lure. <laughs> That's a good start. Good start. Um, uh, I'm sure we'll use a frog. Sure. Keep that in mind, Mr. Beard. Apparently, yes, I threw myself into the water. Excuse me for one second. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I, I was just checking. I thought I was worried that was my car, but it's not. our neighbor's car, next door neighbor's car. Ooh. The fish goes away. Okay. It's the lure. <laughs> it's stealing his car. Could be. Uh. I don't really have an HOA to report to that way. It's all police, I guess. But they turn it off, so I can't really complain. We have like, there. there's like a, a small group that maintains the, some of the shared yard area, but like, I'm just going to press F, yeah. Uh, but they don't actually seem to do anything other than that. <laughs> I guess they're, they might technically be an HOA, but they don't seem to actually do any enforcing of anything. So, uh, <laughs> And there's not even a way to contact them, really. You, can, you have to write them a letter, I think. 
which is weird. I have to double look, look at the way that, they, that the old board gets put on there. They have like no budget. <laughs> I remember that. Because they're like, they had to raise a fee and it was like, they had to release their numbers. And like, they have like no money. <laughs> yeah. That's a good plan, Howdy. different lore, I guess. Um, I don't have... I'll do pencil bait, sure. Zoom. Good luck with that. There's also uh, stuff in our area that I know is technically against the rules for the area, that, and nobody does anything about it, so... Whatever they are, it doesn't affect anything in my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> yeah, that's the way, boo you. You're way ahead of the game here. Boy. This is a thrilling game. Very true, Howdy. There's also some amazing music. Wow. Pretty incredible, do you? Let's try this. Uh, over this way a little bit. Zoom! <laughs> Lost my lure. Alright, we're gonna move. We're gonna move over here, sure. I got a 400 pound barracuda in a lake. That would mean somebody just dropped a 400 pound barracuda in the lake at recently. <laughs> On the plus side, I think you can play this game with, with like. Oh. The fit. What? I don't understand this. It's like... Am I supposed to just do it, like, go like this? Like, keep it moving non-stop? Otherwise the fish go away? Yeah, I guess so. What?! <laughs> this again. Ugh.
Why? Why do they just go away as soon as they get close to a slowly moving frog? That doesn't make any sense to me. Wait till he gets close, I'm gonna stop moving this time. Fight. How do I fight? I got it! Okay. What is it? A rainbow trout. Fight? Yeah. You should really have more melancholy music for a game this slow paced. Not melancholy, just like easy going. Four and a half pound rainbow trout. Great. Green turd. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Alright, we'll try it. We'll try it in this little inlet here. Great. Yeah! I mean, green turd wiggling creature, isn't that what we all are in the end? Ugh. Brutal. <laughs> oh, howdy, did you see that they're gonna do a Metalocalypse movie? I guess they can finally finish off the series. So, I mean, that's good. I got it! Another green turd! It's a black bass! It's big! Great! A lot easier to catch fish in Animal Crossing than in this, let me tell ya. Let's try our pencil bait this time. We're gonna move again, because clearly there's only gonna be one fish per area, right? I don't know. Thanks, Boo. Can a fish figure out how to get around the rock? Fish goes away. Okay. your heart out. Oh, 
I got it! It's another black bass. Too bad, it's small. Aww. Aww, that's sad. Yeah, you're all devastated to see that. The most metal of all fish, yep. Only two pounds, yeah. Alright, and actually, well, whatever. I might have to uh, try loading up uh, Bass Tour again from when I was a kid. Maybe, maybe I'll stream that at some point. It's not. I don't, have a, I don't have a PC I have to stream it right now, but, like, there's a lot more going on in that game than either of these, let me tell you. In, in a good way. Even, like, navigating your boat, there was, like, challenges and elements, and you had to deal with stuff, and figure out your supplies you needed, and... The game's like genius in comparison to this stuff. That is too bad for you. Guess there's just no fish here. Somewhat related note, and just in the way this game plays, did any of you see the trailer for the new Mario Golf game? Looks pretty good! <laughs> yeah, uh, the trailer is totally worth looking at. Like, they have traditional modes, and then they have, like, an adventure and an RPG mode, and there's a four-player multiplayer mode where you all play at the same time, and there's one where there's four holes in a stadium, and the first person to finish in the simultaneous round wins in some way. It looks pretty cool, actually. No joke. I thought about streaming some golf games, uh, in celebration of that, but I thought I'd wait for it to come out, because it comes out in, like, June. It's, it's really, it's only like a month away, I think. And you can play as your me and, like, level it up. <laughs> game I play a lot of, but I like golf games once in a while too, actually. Oh. The thing that I was wondering is it seemed like the local modes of the new Mario Golf game, they may not have the simultaneous play option, which seems unfortunate. At least the video didn't look like it was local. Like it was online only. Oh, a rainbow trout. Wow, it's a big one. Congratulations. Yay. This is, this is like super heroic music. It is kind of ridiculous. Can I just, yeah, can I just end? Yeah, I want to stop. Ceremony. Look at today's record. Today's record. Oh, that rainbow trout was the record. Okay. Hey, Jade, this is your record. Cl 
Class C, Black Bass 2, Average 2.4 pound, Heaviest 2.8 pounds. Yeah. My fish is in another castle, yeah. In Black Bass, I, you're, you're in like a Bass Classic tournament where you're trying to catch bass. So that's really what you want, not Rainbow Trout. I believe, I think that's the gist of the game. Yeah, and there's like a tournament or something. There's like a there's a bass mas bass masters tournament, you know. Look at that fish going by. All right, well, I'm gonna go on to my last fishing game of the night. Bass master. No, I'm good. Give me 11 more followers and I can probably manage it, Mr. Beard. I think that's why I'm still short on. I think it's... I, I don't have 50 followers. Just listen to this music, too. This is also upbeat music. Probably do it. Hmm. Do, 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 do. What is this? I know this music. This is like a folk tune or something. Yeah, what is this? Seriously. It's gonna bother me. <laughs> they don't say in the credits, do they? No, they don't. think about that. It could be, Bobby. Old river man. Just keeps rivering. Alright, um... Listen to this music, too. <laughs> Even the sign. This has, this has saved games? Really? Is our save game? Oh nope, it's passwords. This is not this is not loading a game. This is a password. Delete. That's a long password. By the way, I can't exit. Seriously, I cannot exit. This is a huge pet peeve of mine, because a shockingly large number of games, if you don't have the right password, you have to reset the system. And I'm like, really? Why have an exit button? Alright. <laughs> but minus a billion points for that. You have to just try randomly in that, like, 20-character password. Oh, there's rules. Tournament time runs from 7 to 3. Consists of three days in each lake. Live live well, can hold up to five bass at any time. If you catch a bass that is larger than your... What? 57... What does that say? Then your fifth bass? Oh, I see. Then the bass will be cold. Fish can count that are not bass will not go into the live well. All fish will be released back. Okay. Yeah, good luck. 
rank is determined by total weight of the five largest bass. Each day's total is out of the previous day. You must place high enough at the end to advance. Size limits these bass will be 15 inches. Uh, will be automatically released. Late penalties. Okay, great. I get to pick who I want to be. Wow. Maureen the, Stur the Surgeon Sturgeon. This is a lot of text, isn't it? She catches bass with surgical accuracy. Uh, Charlie the Cheetah Carsons. Speed, not endurance. Dick Deadeye? Oh yeah, Javier Jackson, known as the Magician. I wonder if these are real people. Wait, formerly from Minnesota? What does that mean? How can you be formerly from Minnesota? Like, you were exiled, but you're still from there. She emancipated herself. Uh, Bill E. Pop. Well, there's a lot of characters. Um, Doc Holliday. Bonnie okay. Wild. Okay, I'll be Dick Deadeye Dixon, that's fair. <laughs> Most accurate caster of trick caster at fishing shows. He can knock a frog off a log at 50 feet with his spinner bait. It doesn't matter what lure you throw. You can't catch a bass unless you put it where he lives, he says. Dick lives in Georgia. He does have lumpy knees. That's why he's so accurate. Right. I'm glad. Man, so much text. My name's Alexander Dubois. 20 years ago, I watched my father nearly catch the legendary fish. fish Vicious monstrositus. He passed away soon after, but his last wish was his last wish was to catch the monstrositus. I have tried in vain. Okay. I've never heard someone say formerly from X before. That's that's weird to me. I think it might be, Boo. Skull Lake. Does not look like a skull, but okay. Oh, I have to buy stuff? Wow. Formerly begotten from her parents. This is like... This looks like... Like an... Er, what, what does the art style of this game reminds me of? Like a Flash game or something? I don't know. It's very weird. Also, this interface is bad. <laughs> no other way to put it. There can be only one. I don't even know how to, like, quit. Oh, uh, press start button to continue. Start with equipment, or do I do I need to buy something? This is unclear to me. How do I cancel? Okay, line. Do I have a rod? All right, we're just gonna buy a rod just in case. Little practice pond. That's stupid grammar, Mr. Beard. Let's run over this person. No, oh, you can't run over two words. <laughs> Take that, tuber guy. Yeah! 10 out of 10. Can run over tubers. 10 out of 10. Oh, 
I see. What? What happened? Um, what was happening? Oh, the game froze. <laughs> uh, great. That is a good question, Mr. Beard. And a leg that small, too. Yeah, the game froze. Alright. Tuber has his revenge. Yeah, he broke the game. Formerly working 30 seconds ago. That is very true. Right, well, you know, we're just gonna go fish. I don't need to practice. I got this. I don't know what I'm doing, but you know what? It's gonna be fine. Very good thing, Howdy. Very good thing. fish here. How do I retrieve my lure? Alright, well, we're gonna go someplace else then. We, we ram other boats. This is the information I really need. What an amazing simulation. Yes. Not the real fishing, but an incredible simulation. Do do do. Making my lure crawl along the lake bottom somehow. Okay. Okie dokie. Do do do. Well, while I'm doing this, look at this. I actually have a box for this game. Um, also, I don't even see it. The guy looks freaking crazy on the box, but, um, welcome anglers. Welcome to the Bass Masters Classic, registered trademark. My name is Hank. Think of me as your unofficial host. I'll tell you, what do you mean unofficial? Whatever. Uh, I'll tell you what you need to know. 
This tour consists of four three-day tournaments at four lakes. The first one is Skull Lake, where I am right now. You'll see my bait shop there. Oh, it's the bait shop guy. You get to know your way around the dock area, but first you'll need to take care of a few things. Check your gear, because you're out to get the big one. This is it, the World Championship. Good luck. All right. Like, if there was a GoPro on the lure and you could drive it around, howdy? Is that what you're thinking? That probably would be more interesting. <laughs> and then you detonate the dynamite on the lure and the fish just blows up and then you just leave? Is that, is that what you're saying? Fair enough. The best way to fish is to just like get a rod with no with no string on it, or no uh, wire line on it, and you just leave it sitting there, and then you just sit in the boat and you just drink all day. That's that seems to be a lesson I've heard from people. And then people go, "How was your fishing?" And you're like, "Oh, we didn't catch anything, but it was pretty good." It seems to be about half the reason people fish anyway. At least half. Hmm. Do I not have bait on here? Is that an issue? I can I genuinely cannot tell if that is supposed to be bait or if it's just a hook or what it, that thing is. I also don't know what I'm doing right or wrong. <laughs> this is another game where I should. I don't have the manual for this one. Just the box. Do, do. You ever catch anything, Howdy? I've been a, I've been fishing three or four times. Not a lot, but I think pretty much everyone had fished at least a little bit growing up in Michigan. There's just lakes everywhere. A lot of fishing. A lot of people own cabins near lakes where you can fish. We never kept any anything though when I went fishing. But my mom, no, my my dad did when we went camping a couple times. But never been a big fan of fish, so. Well, ironically, I ate fish tonight, so I guess maybe I shouldn't say that too much. In as much as you can call a fish stick fish. Yeah, it's cod or halibut or whatever. So I guess it is fish, but you know. It doesn't taste much like fish at that point. Rainbow trout, huh? Didn't you get that? Um, maybe at the uh, fish facts with Lartrack. Did you know that the Greenland shark can live over 200 years? It's the one of the longest lived animals. Longest lived complex animals. Cracker Barrel? Okay. I was thinking of the Yellowstone Cafe. The place by my, 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 my mom's. But I couldn't remember if, what you got there when we went there. Yeah, that was a while ago. Here's some other fish facts. Um, apparently, black bass don't like biting lures too much. Based off this game. Yeah, I, I actually think I would probably appreciate uh, fishing a lot more now than I did as a kid, because I remember finding it, like, kind of boring, and lakes in Michigan are very... have a lot of mosquitoes. Uh, so, yeah, it was hot, humid, and a lot of bugs, and you just sit around and did nothing. That's what it seemed like to me most of the time. <laughs> Noodling, yeah.
tuber smashing. Yeah. Really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing differently, by the way, so. fish. You want it. Come on. What? What is happening? What? Heck was that? You just drop a pot. Oh, and the crabs fall in and can't get out. Is that it? That's what it sounded like, right, Boo? I guess it was nibbling. on it, but then they just don't bite. Maybe that's what you should do, Boo. You should go crabbing. I do like crab significantly more than fish, I will say. So there's that. Seriously, what is happening <laughs> this game? I don't understand. It just takes a bite and then lets it go? It's very weird. Yeah, it's pretty much how I feel. Howdy. Got a biscuit. Oh, is that what that is? Did that guy find another tuber to ram? That's the most fun thing in this game, is ramming tubers. Well, Boo you, you like eating, like, chewy goober bits of animals, so, you know, maybe your opinion of the middle of a crab is, is not that helpful to a lot of people. Just saying. Bye, tuber man. Oh, you didn't die. Take that. Ugh. I mean, what would you call him? Ram! I guess I can't just crush him to death. Too bad. Hit him with the propeller. Let's get him with the propeller. Gotta get him with the propeller. Urgh, yeah! Oh. That's fair. I actually had some a week or two ago. So, you know. Bye, tube guy. If I didn't equip my, uh, like the bait on there or something, or the hook isn't on there right, like I had to do something, but I have no idea what it is. Well, what are you gonna do, Howdy? What are you gonna do? I 
guess we'll try once more up here. Fine. Boots me back to the boat. I do not understand what's happening. Candy corn is good. Candy corn and circus peanuts are in the same candy family. There's a candy fact for you. Got this bouncy, like, funky music. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in this game. I think pretty much all three of these games, you need to read the instructions to even understand what's happening. Which is funny for this game, because it has so much text, and they don't explain the game. They don't explain the gameplay, like, at all. They have, like, five pages of text, and they could dedicate one page to, you know, how to play. Ooh, there's a fish there. Try right there. Last try here, and this is my last game, so. <laughs> oh. All the fish look the same, too. What is up with that? That's kind of disappointing. I guess they're all black bass, but. As soon as they bite, I hit the pull button. That's what I've been guessing. But it doesn't seem to do anything. Come back, fish, come back! I see you over there. Fishy, fishy, fishy. What is my is this my bait not good enough for you? I mean, clearly not, I guess. Eh, take it. Doing a power move the same direction the fish is swimming can pull out the hook. At least you still have your lure. What? I didn't know I did a power move. So I hooked that fish and then immediately lost it. I guess that's what just happened? Like it would have gone into that above screen to pull it and reel it in? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. This game is, is very difficult to understand. Yeah, the Dark Souls of Fishing. Ugh. More like the Bible Adventures of Fishing or something like that. Wish I could crash the boat. I did read all the text. Well, in the intro, I guess I didn't. I didn't need to read the storyline. You know, if I read all the text, I would have gotten immersed in the lore, though, that is true. It would have made the game much more immersive and, you know, satisfying, I'm sure. Stupid tube man. Just gonna ram you again. Yeah! Take that. 
The Story of Fishing. fishing games, and it's getting a little bit long in the tooth here on these games. I think this is going to be it for me for the night. A short one tonight. Uh, but thank you all for coming out and watching a bit of my stream as I attempt to fish and mostly failed all night, but that's fine. That's pretty much how real fishing goes, as I recall it. Mostly you just fail all night and, and get bored and irritated. Um, and bug bitten and sweaty and caught up on crap in the lake and spent 20 minutes trying to get out of it. Uh, that, that's what I remember about fishing, more than anything else. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. You were hooked, yeah. At least you got to hear some good music, right? And lots of loud, high-pitched beeping sounds. That's always great. But I will be back next week. Maybe I'll try streaming two nights a week and some really popular games to get more followers and become an affiliate. Uh, I'll have to think about that. I don't know what is really popular in retro. I actually don't know. Probably Mario and other Nintendo first party games. Stuff like that. Uh, or popular. Stardew Valley is not a retro game. Fake retro is not retro. I guess you could call them re retro influenced. Retro is a good way of putting that, yes. Oh, speedrunning Mario. I've played through all three Castlevanias on stream. Or no, I didn't play through two on stream. I've beaten it on my own. Speedrunning Rescue Rangers. I could do that for a night. I do want to get better at that game a little bit. I did stream Metroid 1. Do you remember that? I actually beat Metroid 1 on stream. And, uh, one guy helped me out a lot. It was kind of cool. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I could stream the other Metroid game. I started streaming Metroid 2 at one point. Maybe I'll stream... I have not streamed Super Metroid. I can stream that, maybe. I've never beaten Super Metroid, actually. I got a game-breaking bug in Super Metroid. And I've had a game-breaking bug in Metroid 2 and Super Metroid. And I had a serious bug in Metroid Prime. I'm just saying, Metroid seems to be a pretty buggy series, right? Like, the Metroid 2 bug was by far the worst, though, because it ruined my save at the end of the game. That's really bad. The other ones were not as bad as that. Yeah, Metroid Prime. That's true. I guess you're Metroid Prime 2, because I, I didn't finish Metroid Prime 2, because I kept getting stuck. I found the Dark World, Light World thing in that game really confusing. Or a, Zell, or a Link to the Past. I mean, uh, yeah, I never finished Link to the Past either. There's several big games I never finished. Maybe I'll look at that. But anyway, I'm gonna get off here for tonight. Uh, thank you for the advice, Mr. Beard. I will think about it some. Uh, I will consider that. Uh, but in the meanwhile, uh, I'll be back with something else. Yep. Thanks for watching Aquaman Fish Some. Good night, everybody.